Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can open a web link or a custom web link from Clickview application. So for example, if you have some requirement that based on the selection that you are making, you need to open uh, the link or the web link for that particular value via uh, some custom button or something, then how to do that configuration and how to do that setting so that you are able to open the link in a web browser. So here in this example, for this example, I have the stock market related data where I have some of the stocks and the requirement is that within the dashboard, I want to give a flexibility to my end users that they can select it, any stock and open a link or open that stock information in a web browser. So for example, if I select, let's say SBI, it's one of the stock and here, I, it is giving me an indication that or it is changed to uh, information that open SPI link just for some end user interaction. Uh, I have uh, kind of using the dynamic uh, information to update over on this tab or on this button that it should update this particular value SPI or Infosys or anything on this on this button. But the main idea is that uh, it should allow me to open the link of SBI in a web application. So if I let's say click on this and if I'm clicking on this information or clicking on this uh, particular store on the very first time it asks me for the approval and I say yes because I recognize it and I go ahead and open the information. So it's the State Bank of India and my information is open in front of me. Similarly, if I let's say I want to go for Infosys and I hit Infosys and it will open me the Infosys stock. So this time when I clicked on the Infosys, you see that uh, it has not asked me for the approval because I have already clicked on the Infosys before I, when I was preparing for this video. So similar in the case of TCS, if I want to open this link here, since I have not maybe clicked on the TCS earlier, that's why it's asking me for the approval and I've given it, showing me the information. So now you have got the idea about this video or what we want to achieve now let's quickly go ahead and see how we can configure it so if you see you are basically selecting on any stock and based on that stock your information is coming in a browser and it's opening for you and that's happening via this button so let's go and explore this button go into the properties so the dynamic text which is getting updated is based on the get field selections so i have to specify a custom string that open whatever you are selecting in a link just for the end user interactivity. And within the action, I have selected this open URL action, which you can specify by going into the external and open URL. Once you select and click OK, you will get the open URL and the information over here. So here in the URL, I have specified a, a simple URL information, which is saying that uh, or a prefix string up till this information how i have i am able to get this i will show this you show this to you in a couple of minutes so idea is that i have uh, some pre prefixed string along with the symbol the symbol information for the stock so this symbol for this stock is already in the database you need to make sure that you have this so I have this mapping available that for a stock, this is the symbol SBI, this is the symbol TCS, this is the symbol. And this, this symbol is basically going in here in the action. Action, if I show you, this is the prefix, this is the symbol that I have applied to this. All right. So uh, now the question is, how do I get to know about what string or what link that I need to use? So it's very straightforward if I go in into the web browser and I see that, let's say, I I don't have any clue about this. First, I go and go into finance.google.com. It's asking me, okay, this, this is what uh, my homepage is looking like. And if I'm going into the TCS, let's say, and here is a string that I need to copy. Control C. And let's say I have a notepad open it i go and uh, now i say info sys and i select the nse 
information so that my string is same I select this information go in enter this let's say the third one for this example is SPI and this is the SPI control C control V so if I see if you see that until this information google.com finance Q is equal to NSE percentage A percentage A in the second string until percentage A 3A this this information is consistent in all the three strings if you see up until this everything is information and after that you have the symbol and then some other text so what I have done is I have ignored this text which is after percent this one because that's generally not giving me or it's changing every time but not giving not having any impact if I remove this so for example if I delete this and copy this that's the experiment I did it's not something that I knew it previously and if I am going into here and typing this information so I get this so once I got to know okay this is how this entire thing is working over here I just what I did is I extracted this information control X and paste it separately and then specified the uh, specified the stock symbol and I stored the stock symbol already into my clickway application over here and with that extracted uh, link and the symbol information I was able to generate this entire string for me which is opening when I am clicking on the open link button so that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about uh, how you can configure and set the information for opening a URL um, if you have any other custom requirement let's say within your company uh, you have the for example very common application is Salesforce to maintain the sales related data which gets open based on a particular link you can have that information uh, available and open sales account sales orders or other other Salesforce related information or if you have any other web application which follows some sort of consistency in terms of uh, opening the invoices order information you can link it on the clickway application and open it directly from here so that's that's all for this video and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic